Well, good morning, everybody. Um, this is Mr. Kinney, and I'm going to be showing you how we're going to set up our foldable notes for our astronomy uh, solar system notes. So what you're going to need is you're going to need four pages from hopefully not your spiral notebook. If you have binder paper, it'd be best to use it. If you need, I've got some extra paper. And I'll set this aside. If you did have to take this out of a spiral notebook, please remove the, the, the side stuff here, the perforations. You know what? I'm just going to use a pair of scissors to do it because if you end up pulling this off, please make sure that it doesn't end up on the floor. Please put it in a trash can. There we go. Set that aside. Okay, so with these foldable notes, well, actually I'll show you the finished job is going to look like this. Okay, we're going to have this folded over and we'll have all these flaps. In fact, from the past years, this is all the stuff that we're going to have on it. All sorts of notes and stuff in here. But today our job is just to get it set up. So, back to the four pages. What we need to do is, on the bottom here, you need to s s separate these papers so that they're about one, they're one line up from the one below it. So when I get this set up, down here, this sheet right here is on this very bottom line right here. Now some papers are thicker and thinner than others. You really don't want it much wider than this. This is a, you know, about the width of my finger. Because once we get these set up like this, now what we're going to do, get them nice and straight. Now we're going to fold this over like this. We're going to line up this line right here. Okay, so now this is lined up here. Now before I press it down, just checking to make sure, yeah, this looks like it's nicely set up here. So I'm going to put the crease up here. And now what we've got is eight half pages basically set up. Now what we're going to do is, obviously we get a volunteer to come around, but we're going to put one staple right up here, like that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to put my thumb over that staple right there. And then we're going to make a cut up here because we want to separate these so we end up getting these different sections. Now we don't want to cut too high up because if we cut too high up, this paper is just going to rip in half and that's not going to be helpful. I would recommend that perhaps maybe you fold this over to make a little crease right down the middle, just on the bottom half. You don't need to do it on the top part. See, it makes a nice little crease right here and then you can, and then you can cut that. Oh, sorry, hands are shaky. I'm had a bad flu bug or something the last few days. Oh, now I can put my thumb here about about two or three lines above. No, don't cut yourself. That'll be close enough. Okay. And then what I'd like you to do is that we're going to we're going to label this. Now, if you have the substitute here, they can push the the pause button up here and, and take a moment. So I'll give a moment to let this get happening. Then we're going to start to label these. All right. So. Um, here we go. I'll start labeling this. Now what we're going to do at the top, we're going to label this solar system. S-O-L-A-R. Sol is the Latin name for the sun. And then system. And I'd like you to put here the wavy equal sign, which means about. And it's about 5 billion years old. Five billion turns out to be like 5,000 million years old, but five billion years old. And we know that because scientists can measure how fast the sun is burning its fuel that it has, hydrogen. It burns that hydrogen into helium. And we can measure how much helium has been produced. And scientists can make a calculation that it's been burning, well, actually fusing, for about five billion years. All right, well, I'm going to hit stop on this for now.